me is, he's out of sight. Uh, let me guess. You want any brothers thinking goodbye and don't get a smile, huh? What about the smile? I am smiling. You heard what that word? You already said? He's so cool, she didn't even know he was smiling. This is expert level game. Shout out to Roaster Minnows, man, for the beat. And whoever's texting me, man, for the motherfucking interlude. Let this shit ride out. Y'all go follow Roaster Minnows, man. What's gonna happen is this. Bro, you gonna comment. Then put your shit, man, for these cats to get up on your shit, man. So they can get a little smooth ass shit like this for a pimp, man. So anyways. I'm here to give y'all some real smooth expert level game on Sunday, man. This drop is for my man Ray. He wanted to know <clears throat> how to bag older chicks. He wanted to know how to bag older chicks. So um, I'm gonna tell y'all how, man. This is actually what I, what my specialty is. So I think I'm gonna even elaborate a little bit on. I'm gonna give you more game than what you wanna know, fam. Basically, is what I'm saying, man. You know I always give extra credit around this bitch, man. Shout out to my man, Moto2 Power around this bitch. Check out his new shit too, man. It's fucking flames. Check his shit out. Moto Power 2250, man. Anyways, man, so back to the subject at hand. If you wanna I'ma I'm a I'ma break it down from a younger person's perspective. Because back in the game, right, before I was um, before I was grown, man, I was young and I was bagging grown bitches. If you look at my Instagram as some throwbacks or any of my live podcasts, man, those are pictures of me in high school with the with the with the brown coat and the sweaters and the shit. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because you gotta look the part for one you gotta look the part you wanna fuck with the grown bitches you need to look the part for one for two you need to get used to interacting with older chicks because once you do this you get to learn their sense of humor how to charm them how to make them laugh fucking with older chicks is a whole different experience than fucking with 21, 25, 26, 27 year olds Older women are wise. They've went through shit. They're set in their ways. This can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your ideologies of your uh, presentation and your program. You know, that's on you. Their ways can be set in a good way that's beneficial to you, or it can be in a bad way. Now, that's up to you to figure out. But in order to bang these chicks and bag them and throw them in your rotation, matter of fact, let me give you some expo level game, man. The older women are easiest to throw in their rotation because... <clears throat> They demand less. <clears throat> They're more subtle in life. They've been through shit. All they really respect is good dick and no bullshit. And I just rhyme right there. That's all they really want. They don't really care if you, if you want to marry them because they've been married two or three times already. They don't care if you want to have a child and all that type of shit because they didn't have one or two already. You see what I'm saying? Most of them got their own shit, their own car, their own house, condo. So dealing with older women does have its benefits, you know. They may be able to lace you on life. Say you are an aspiring real estate agent or a business owner. You link up with an OG who's an aspiring, excuse me, an acquiring real estate agent. See how I did that right there? Fire aspiring that she could be an owner she may own a flower shop she may own a boutique and she can put you on to that game don't just fuck with these bitches for sex fam you know but you gotta look the part you gotta talk to them learn their personalities 
<clears throat> you're going to pick up on some of that OG swag too, right? And when and what's going to happen is you're going to pick up on the OG swag and it's even going to be even more beneficial to because OG swag um it connects with wisdom and authority because if you're as a man with wisdom and authority, that means that you've been through life. Do you feel what I'm saying? So when you go through life, you're able to able to guide and that way, when you deal with women, they're willing to listen. You know? You see how that works? So when you meet like a <clears throat> a police vet or you already know what time it is. Anybody who's experienced, you're willing to listen because they've been through experiences that you haven't been through yet. Or witnessed yet. Or thought about yet. Just like me. I'm, I'm y'all OG. A lot of y'all, you know, so. Um, you got to go to where they at. Start going to little juke joints and and uh, little jazz places, places that play jazz, even music. Older women like uh, gospel music. Go to little gospel concerts. Go to um, like Jill Scott, like that type of crowd. Those are usually older, mature women that go to that shit. Hood rats don't go see Jill Scott like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe now because she did some hood rat shit, but before that, you know, you want to see Jill Scott, India Ari, Neo Soul, all that type of shit. You want to go to those concerts and even listen to the music too. That way you can connect with them. You see what I'm saying? When you listen to Al Green and shit like that and you come across an OG and you know the songs and the words the same way she do, she going to like that and it's going to. It's going to open her up and it's going to make her want to tell you more because she's going to feel comfortable that you guys have. Man, I'll be lacing y'all, man. <sighs> be lacing y'all. Mm-hmm. Who your favorite? They be telling you that? When? When they told you? Mm-hmm. They last drop told you that? I don't think so. So anyways, it's going to lower... It's going to lower their shield, man. They're going to want to open up. That's what the point of making connection is. is that you, you get people to open up to you. The more that they feel comfortable, the more that they tell you, the more they tell you, the more they invest in you. You feel me? So, in summary, you want to start dressing the part. You want to interact with older people or the age range at which you're shooting for. Because if you're... If you are 17, 18 listening to this shit, then maybe 25 is OG to you. You know what I mean? But I'm just speaking my reality and Ray's reality. Dress the part. Hang out where they are. And this is going to make you a better a better person, man, because you have your own experiences and older. It's going to give you an old soul to you. Women love a man with an old soul. It's like the most interesting man in the world. He's that because he's been through shit. If you really focus on the commercials, that's basically what it's saying. It's not the fact that he's older and has a beard. It's the fact that he's experienced. That's why they show him he's doing this. He's doing that. He's doing this when he was young. He was doing that. That's the subconscious thing that it's teaching you that you haven't realized until just now. You see? Be that distinguished man. You can get the older bitches easy. And then you'll get the younger ones too. And not only will you get the younger ones, the younger ones will listen to you. They'll look at you like a father. You feel me? You'll be Yoda to them. So Yoda to Luke is what you'll be. Because what you have to give, they can't get from a man their age. They can't. How? So... That's how you get the older chicks, fam. And that's how you benefit off of it. And that's how you go about it. And that's what you get out of it, doing it. Extra level game breakdown for my man. You see what I'm saying? So, y'all tap in. Let me know what y'all think about this. And uh, shout out to Real Instrumentals for the, um, for the instrumental. You did. Y'all stay up. And I will talk to y'all. So, we're going to let it go out real one more time. You don't want this fire again?
Hold on. You're so righteous. That's Willie Dynamite, man. 